It was the summer of 1994, and kids were looking for something new to watch. This is where Aji Fodor and Karen Kuflick would come up with the idea to create the characters Stick Stickly in order to try to bring some much needed new flavor to the otherwise repetitive summer afternoons of 1990s kids. And with that, what's up everybody and welcome back to Macabre Gorham Labs Presents School of Boredom Quickies, Nickelodeon Edition. My name is Bats, and I'll be your guide today as we explore what history we could uncover about this iconic on-screen popsicle stick personality. This is the story of Stick Stickly, Nick in the Afterlife. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. As we just mentioned, created by Aji Fodor and Karen Kuflick, Stick Stickly was an ordinary popsicle stick adorned with googly eyes, a jelly bean nose, and a smallish mouth. Something you may not know is Stick Stickly made his debut in the form of a one-time appearance on the Nickelodeon show Wienerville. That's right, goats. In fact, Stick Stickly was brought to life by none other than Paul Christie. And for those wondering, you guessed it, there will be a Wienerville School of Boredom at some point later in the future. Paul Christie also voiced Moose A. Moose, the iconic mascot for the Noggin Channel. As usual, we will cover Noggin in a future lesson. Paul began his career in 1994 by hosting the Nickelodeon segment Nick in the Afternoon with Stick Stickly. These segments would air during weekday summer afternoons between 1994 and 1998. Paul began his career in 1994 by hosting the Nickelodeon segment Nick in the Afternoon with Stick Stickly. And these segments would air during weekday summer afternoons between 1994 and 1998. During said segments, our wooden host would introduce the shows that would appear during the lineup. As part of the introduction segment, Stick Stickly would be a subject in a stunt called You Dip with Stick. You Dip would subject our friend Stick to being dipped in various substances that would end up being chosen by the viewers of the programming block. After the summer of 1998, the world wouldn't see Stick Stickly again for a whole decade. One of the many fun features of Stick Stickly's programming block was that viewers could send letters to the host by writing the address he would provide via a catchy jingle. Write to me, Stick Stickly, P.O. Box 963, New York City, New York State, 10108. Now, according to the internet, in 2017, you could still write to the address and it would go to Stick Stickly. Please feel free to let us know in the comments if we're wrong. This would continue during the entirety of his run. However, with the rise in internet popularity, they would then add a line via on-screen text that read, or you can email me at nick.com. On September 6, 2011, Teen Nick would air an advert saying that Stick Stickly would be coming back to the Nickelodeon Network via Teen Nick on October 7, 2011 at midnight during the The 90s Are All That block. But just the very next week, another ad would appear on the channel that would state that he would be hosting every Friday night for the updated version of Nickelodeon's You Pick. You Pick with Stick came on every Friday. The process for picking episodes involved going online to the 90s or all that website and voting on shows you wanted to see. And the winning picks would then be shown on Fridays, hosted by Stick Stickly. Upon Stick's return, however, it wouldn't take long for fans to realize why these segments were airing at midnight. The new show had a humor and dialogue change for the character that was a little more mature than it was in the 1990s. In order to connect with his original fans, whom at this point, let's face it, were all adults. Other improvements were you could ask Stick questions via Twitter hashtag PO Box 963. Finally, after New Year's Eve 2011-2012, Stick Stickly would seemingly be retired. For about eight months anyway, because August 5th through 8th, 2013, Mr. Stickly would make a somewhat limited return by hosting Teen Nick's 1990s Game Show Week. But we weren't finished with Mr. Stickly just yet. Because in 2015, he would return to host Teen Nick's You Pick block from June 17th through July 15th. It was part of Stick's Summer Down Adventures, airing on Wednesday nights. This was due to the changing of 90s or all that with the splat. However, in another bit of a funny twist, from time to time, viewers would choose classic, vintage, or shows that simply did not even air on Nickelodeon. According to a wiki we looked into, some of these shows were You Can't Do That on Television, The Munsters, 
I Love Lucy, or even The Brady Bunch. Just like the original programming block, these U-Pick segments would be revealed by Stickley being attached to a wheel similar to a board game spinner, and he would be spun as his head would stop on the show that would air. These shows would be predetermined before airing thanks to the letters, the internet, and fan correspondence that we discussed a few moments ago. Stick Stickley would eventually fade out of existence, but not our hearts because you can still find him on clothes, collectibles, and toys, especially if you subscribe to certain quarterly loot boxes that we won't mention here. Unless, of course, they want us to promote them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And with that, we're out of time. I've been your host, Bats, and this has been the Macabgorium Lab School of Boredom Nickelodeon Edition Quickie, the story of Stick Stickley, Nick in the Afterlife. If you like this one, be sure to click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our weird, creepy, odd, strange, or eccentric content as soon as we get it out. Either way, be excellent to each other, think for yourselves, and above everything else, keep it creepy. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. If you enjoyed this one and would like to see more of our weird, creepy, odd, eccentric, or strange content as soon as it comes out, please feel free to click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more. We'll see you later. Keep it creepy.